Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Eflexonic Show. Last uh, three weeks, we've had an incredible time. I signed up for a service called Meetup. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with Meetup, but it's uh, it's taken over the country by storm. It's an application that you download onto your smartphone or your computer, and you put in the uh, your areas of interest. If you're a small business owner, for example, and you're looking for other small business owners, you put in small business owner, and, and there's categories that you can put in. I'm a small business owner. Uh, I like entrepreneurship. I like, you know, there, there's a whole bunch of categories. So, so you just fill in the blanks. And what Meetup does is it it suggests to you local groups that have meet, meetings together. Usually once every two weeks, we have a, we hold our meetings every once once every week, but once every week or two. And there's small business owners that get together to discuss their small business, and it's been great. the The first meeting, I got to adjust my microphone cable here. First meeting we had one person, <laughs> and that's okay because one person and, and I. We had an opportunity to come down to the broadcast studio and build her a little little show for her business, which was kind of nice because we got to sit down and really talk about social media and what it meant to her and, and how social media is very, very intimidating. And that's why I wanted to create a, a meetup group because I wanted to have people come together and say, look, let's make some sense out of this. I mean, social media is the wild, wild west still. Um, people don't know they're fumbling and they're stumbling and they're somehow trying to make it work. So there's a lot of people out there that the fog is there and they still can't see what's going to go on. They don't know where to start in social media. They don't know how to integrate social media into their business. So I thought it'd be a great idea to start a meetup group. Now on the last one, our last meetup group. So let me, let me recap. Three weeks ago, we had two people show up. Two weeks ago, we had, I think, four people show up. And last week, we had, I think, six people show up. So we're growing exponentially. <laughs> we're, we're adding people every every week so that we're doing it. But we had someone here last week, and I'm not going to name names, but um, two things that happened were really valuable for our group. I have a broadcast studio, and I was thinking, okay, so um, our tagline is show up uh, willing to help other small business owners uh, share your passion. And I know that there's a whole bunch of other people out there that are really, really good at one thing. And I thought, well, perfect. We'll just set them down in front of a camera and in front of a microphone and we'll create a show. But I got some really valuable feedback from from the folks that came to the meetup. They say, you know what? We're not really, really ready for that yet. We're kind of shy and we don't want our conversations recorded. That is a legitimate concern. Because um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to record them and say, if anybody doesn't agree with with what we've got on tape, then we don't we don't put it up. You know, we can just take the best the best parts of our meeting. Because what I wa wanted to f see happen is, if somebody's got something really important that they wanted to say, and it's really valuable to the group, it's probably going to be valuable to someone on the internet as well that couldn't make it to the meeting. So we could have canned that and put it on YouTube. So the group said, well, how about if we do this? How about if we back up a little bit? I have a huge whiteboard in the broadcast studio. And they said, Rick, how about if we, what we talk about during the evening for the meetup group, we'll just write on the whiteboard and then you can do a show a day or so after that and you can be the spokesman and you can tell us, uh, tell everybody of what we talked about. That's perfect. That, that's a really, really good balance. And then in the future, uh, what I hope to have is people on camera talking about what they do. For example, we've got a great SEO expert lined up and he's going to be coming into the studio and my goodness, the stuff that he can can share with us is just tremendous. Very, very valuable stuff. So that was one one thing that, that uh, the group brought some great value, creative value uh, to our meetup. The other one is we had last week on the January 23rd, we had a person in and she's very, very good. She's a corporate trainer, a master corporate trainer. And she's really good at meetings and how to structure meetings, a business meeting. Like when you're a small business owner and you have to have a, a business meeting with someone, say a, a business that you want to sell your services to, and there's a specific format that you should follow. And she had some extremely good tips. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you six things that you may want to know about timing in a business meeting. I think this is tremendously helpful. Let's go down the list of the six things. First of all, tell them 
and review what the meeting will cover. I'm looking at the whiteboard here. Review what the meeting will cover and have it printed out on two sheets of paper with all your contact information, your, your name and your phone number and stuff, and your name right on a, a, a prominent place so you can hand them the piece of paper and tell them what the meeting is going to be about, like bullet points, right, about what the meeting is going to be about. So they know. So if they can't remember their name, or can't remember your name, they can see it right on the piece of paper. So make sure that you have two copies of this. You keep one copy and you hand them the other copy so they can follow along during the minutes of the meeting. And then you can say, okay, these are the points we're going to go through and just at the end of the meeting recap and say, did I miss anything or did I leave any points out? Make sure you, you cover all the points. So that is setting up the meeting. Very, very valuable because if you don't have format and you don't have um, structure in a meeting, in a business meeting, you're going to be madly off in all directions, right? It, it, it goes to, to story. All right, so the number two thing is set the meeting for 30 minutes maximum. Just And tell them right at the beginning, look, I know you're busy. I won't take more than 30 minutes of your time. And make sure that you look at your watch, maybe even if you want to write down the time when you started the meeting on your piece of paper, and make sure that you do not go over 30 minutes of time. Their time is valuable, so is yours. So make sure that you respect that. So number three, make sure that between the 18th and the 20th minute, you're doing the presentation, you're, do, you're addressing a couple of things. You're saying how much money you're going to save them or what the features and benefits are you're bringing to the table from your company and what you're going to do for them. Um, spell it out in a, in a point system, like, for example, that, that point system that you created when you first walked in and handed them that piece of paper. Make sure that you have the features and benefits there. Number four. <laughs> Am I up to number four? Yeah, okay. During the 22nd, say, the, the 20th to the 22nd minute is the close. And you can say to them, does it fit your business model? Will, is what I'm presenting to you, our good services or products, will it fit your business model and will it, will it benefit? And what you're looking for is an acknowledgement. Yes, it will or no, it won't. And no, it won't is extremely valuable as well. Because, and I'll tell you about that in a moment. Number five, at the 25-minute mark, you can say to them, we can book another appointment if you'd like. So this gains interest. You say, should we go on? Um, and they'll let you know, okay, well, we'll either, there was so much information in this one meeting that we've got to book another meeting. So that's very, very important. Uh, and number six is the next step. What day would be good for you um, for another meeting, or should we do the paperwork right now? Now, if it's something really simple that you're negotiating, you can probably get it done in 30 minutes, right? If it's something that's going to take a couple of meetings, this is where it's really important because this is where you book the next meeting, okay? So let's, let's review, let's recap. One, tell them, review with the meeting what, what, what it will cover and have it written down on two pieces of paper. Make sure that your name is in a prominent place. Make sure that you've got bullet points of what you're going to talk about and make sure that your contact information is on that piece of paper, both pieces of paper, really. At the end of the meeting, you can say, have I covered everything? And just and use that as a checklist. Number two, make sure that it's no more than 30 minutes for the meeting. That's really important. To, to save them time and to, to put a time restriction on, their, on, their, on your, your valuable time in theirs. Number three, 18 to 20 minutes close for the presentation. What are you going to give me? What are the benefits? How much money can you save me? All the features and benefits of what your small business can offer. Number four, 20-second minute to close. Does it fit in your business model? Number five, the 25-minute mark. Can we book another appointment or a meeting if you want? And number six, what is the next step we should take? If it's something simple, can we do the paperwork right now? Or if it's not something simple, if it's a little bit more complicated, that you need a, another meeting, just say, when do you think we can set up another meeting? I think this was extremely valuable information. You know, you would have to pay in quite a few circumstances, quite a bit of money to get this kind of information wrapped up in a seminar, of course. But I think that uh, graciously the members come to, to this broadcast studio and open up their hearts and minds and say, you know what, this is what happens and this is what's really beneficial in my business and they're good enough to share it with us. So this is Rick Holland for eFlexonics. What I'll do is I will put the link 
um, of our of our meetup right below this video. So people that want to come, now we're in the Fraser Valley, but people that want to show up, all you have to do is click the link and it'll take you to our meetup page. Or get this, even if you can't make it physically, say you're you're in another province, you're you're in, you're in another state. We don't mind skyping you in. Wouldn't it be great to have a virtual business meeting, a virtual meetup meeting? Hey, why not? Let's experiment with uh, with some technologies. We can do Skype, and then we can record it if if you want, <laughs> and we can play it back, and you can be the resident expert. We can we can start a part of the show called Ask the Experts on this particular meetup. Folks, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Rick Holland for the eFlexonics meetup. I hope you've garnered some valuable information here. I know I had had a great time, and the, the whiteboard there is filled, <laughs> full of stuff. I don't have time to talk about it because we'd be talking for about a half an hour. But uh, thanks so much for joining us. We will see you next week. Thanks, group, everybody, for meeting up from my, our meetup. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.